Hi guys, welcome to this channel and if this is your first time to come across this channel, by the way, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to support this channel by hitting that notification bell. In today's video, I got a question that a number of times in the comment section and I wanted us to go through it and try to see exactly, try to help out our brothers and sisters that are out there planning to come to these Gulf countries. Remember, most of these Gulf countries have become a hot cake for opportunities career development for some few people and getting bread on the plate at the end of it all. Remember, when we are talking about the Gulf countries, uh, we, we, can, we can't fail to mention the Gulf countries. We talk about Qatar, we talk about Saudi Arabia, we talk about Bahrain, we talk about Kuwait, we talk about Oman, we talk about um, uh, UAE where we talk about Dubai and Abu Dhabi, Sharija and other Emirates that make up Dubai or make up the UAE. Remember, when we are talking about the opportunities, most of the time I keep on telling people, when we are talking about the opportunities, it starts with you. When you wake up one day that I need to go out of my, I need to go out of my motherland, I need to go somewhere else to look for bigger opportunities, it takes a bigger decision for you to make. And remember, you making that decision, you need what you call documents. You need some documents to accompany you. You need some documents to back up your decision for you to move out of that country. Remember, every time that you move out of one territorial ter territory of another country to go to another country, you need what we call a visa. Yes, much as you need a visa for that, but there are also other documents or there are also other documents that you're supposed to, full to, to have for you to travel to that country. In today's video, that's what we want to see. What are the documents you require to move to the Gulf countries if you are going to look for that opportunity? If you've made up your mind to look for that opportunity or to go for that job that you think is going to make yourself move to another level. So we just go, we go straight into the video without even wasting time. One, first of all, before even you plan of having the passport, it's all about setting your mindset to where you are going. Set the mindset that I'm going for this, I'm going to do this opportunity, I'm going to encounter this opportunity, I'm going to try out this opportunity. Try out the mind, set the mind, because remember, if you don't set the mind, you'll have, you, you'll have 50 by 50, I'm going, I'm not going, I'm going, I'm not going, but you need to set your mind, because remember, most of these countries are far and different. When you look at the cultures, when you look at the languages, when you look at the climatical conditions, all these countries defile all together so knowing that where you are going is far different from your own country that means you have set your mind to that opportunity you are ready to you are ready to accept that opportunity that is coming to come on your way number two you must have what you call a passport most of people are planning to come to these Gulf countries. Before even you plan, before even you think of coming to these countries, or before even you plan of crossing from one country to another, make sure you have what you call a passport. Depending on your country of origin, if you are coming from Africa, you are coming from Asia, make sure you possess what we call a passport. A passport is just a legal document. It's a country's legal document that entities you to move from one country to another. It is accepted, provided by your country or your government of your country as it is specified thereby acknowledges you as a citizen of that country. So it is, you will need a passport to cross from one country to another. So make, make sure as you are trying to plan, you should have what you call a passport. It's very important. Also, before also, we look at number three is that you look at what we call identify for those people that are using the manpower agencies. Identify which agents you are going to use. You should not trap yourself to run to every agent because at the end of it all, you'll become to a loser. Most of these agents we have in these countries, especially in Africa, especially in Africa, they are all about making money. Identify that agent and uh, agents or money power or, legal, or label exporting company or recruiting company that you are going to use to facilitate you reaching the opportunity that you are thriving for. That is quite very important. It's quite very important. 
First of all, the use of identifying that agents that you are going to use. It saves time. It also saves what we call the resources that you would have wasted in going to different areas at one way or the other. How people in Africa, you know what to expect, what I'm talking about. Uh, how many times agencies have tried to turn out people down and try to steal or eat people's money without even getting them what they promised them. For example, when you look at for Asian countries, it's a little bit very different because those countries are being added up that the government are so much involved in the, the recruitment or even the exporting of people or labor companies in exporting or allowing people to move to these other countries, unlike in Africa. Then we also look at the medical test. This is very important. For most people, please, I keep on telling you, wherever you come to these Gulf countries, you'll have to do what we call a medical fitness test. And when you fail a medical fitness test, that means it is not a responsibility of the recruiting manpower, or it is not the responsibility of the recruiting agent. This recruiting agent, he or she has done his part to take you to the country. You've entered the country, you pass the migration, you're already in one of the Gulf countries. Then you fail medicals. It is very important in one way or the other. What do I always advise people? If you are planning to come to these countries, if you are planning to come to any of these Gulf countries, you are planning to come to Qatar, you are planning to come to Bahrain, you are planning to come to Saudi Arabia, UAE, when you talk about Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Oman, Kuwait, make sure you check the status of your health before even you trust the manpower company or before even you trust the recruitment agencies for that matter. Go to a healthy, go to accredited hospitals, go to those hospitals that you think they can try to get the medicals right. Don't trust the manpower company. Don't trust the manpower, especially people coming from Africa. You've ended up in tears. You've ended up regretting. You've ended up with wasted resources in one way or that. So I advise you, look for that hospital that is going to do a genuine medical test before even you travel so that you can try to save the resources and save the time. You save the resources and save the time. I keep on saying that. Remember, most of these countries, when you come to these countries, before even you are given what we call a residence permit or what we call a resident ID to accept that you are allowed to stay in this country, you will undergo what you call medicals. You will undergo what you call the medical fitness test. So make sure that before even you waste your resources, before you waste your money to go to these manpower companies, make sure you've tested yourself and you've verified yourself that everything on you is all right. Check for HIV, check for hepatitis B, check for tuberculosis, check for syphilis. All those kind of diseases are really looked at and will always turn you back. The government or wherever you go, once you fail the medical test, they will definitely deport you back to your country of origin at no cost. Then also we look at another one is what you call, make sure you take what you call a yellow fever vaccine. This is quite very important for your own safety. It's quite very important for your safety. Someone will ask me a question, why is it needed? Why do we have to take a yellow fever vaccine before we can travel? That is having what we call a yellow book. For people who are coming from Africa, you definitely know what I'm talking about. If you are coming from Uganda, definitely you know that you need to have what you call a yellow fever book. And you need to, need to, need to have the vaccine with you at one moment. Of, you must have taken the vaccine. Although sometimes there are bleaches wherever, but you must, for your safety, you must have that vaccine and you must take off care of it. Because remember, when we are talking about this yellow fever vaccines to those countries that must have that as a requirement most of these countries have dealt with such kind of diseases for a long period of time unless in africa so it will become a little bit an inconvenience for them to go back to look for uh, medicine or to get take care of one person with such kind of disease that's why they normally advise people who are coming to their countries they should have taken what you call the yellow fever vaccine for their safety in one way or the other. Then still, we look at another one. We look at number eight. That is what we call 
and we look at a police clearance. Most of you underestimate this, but you must have what you call a police clearance certificate. What is the role of the police clearance certificate? The role of the police clearance certificate is to get off you your clean sheet away from any crime that you might have committed or convicted. Most of these countries do not want to have what you call convicts, do not want to have what people who have done crimes in their country. They always want to have people who are law abiding people who have what you call a clean sheet so make sure you should have what you call a police clearance from your country of origin and sometimes that's what you call a police a police uh, certificate of good conduct they always ask for it in these countries it's one of the documents that they request before you come to this country to clean up yourself and to clean that to, to make sure they definitely understand who the kind of nature and the kind of person that is coming in their country then also to some people if you feel you have to move with some of your academic documents you never know a chance may grow up up never know one day one time it doesn't mean from the start it is one day in one time an opportunity may crop up you are in that company let's say for example you are a housekeeper or let's say you are housekeeping and there's an opportunity of a supervisor to be elevated and that time you have the, the you have the academic document to support you up definitely your hiring manager definitely your supervisor they will definitely scold you and they will back you up take up the position that's how opportunities get to come in at the end of it all from the housekeeping department or from the housekeeper you may find yourself elevated to another another department or to another more higher position then also before also you think of traveling another document or another requirement that you should have especially people coming from uh, people coming to these gulf countries is have commission that is commission for the labor exporting agents and when they say manpower or recruiting agencies. Remember when we are talking about these recruiting agencies or manpower companies, definitely this is job. This is a net this is their job for them. Uh, definitely. They will need what you call commission for the work that will be done. Depending on where you are going, depending on the nature of the job, they will definitely ask for some amount of money or what we call some commission for their service or for their work or what. Uh, for their work that you'll be doing for you in case of any or that wills up. So sometimes that's why it's always very important for you to prepare aside some commission for them. In case something comes up and comes very, very fast, then definitely they will ask. If you don't have, then you definitely have to miss out a chance for you to travel. How people coming from Africa, you definitely know that you need to have what you call commission for you even to start up thinking of you traveling because the one that has is the one that will get the opportunity faster than anyone else then also we look at uh, uh, we say another one is what we call uh, be prepared to take up the interviews be prepared to take up the interviews remember most of this company they will definitely have to recruit someone they definitely talk to a person they've analyzed the person they analyze and most of this time they will either send what you call their representative agents from their company to do the interviews or even they will do the interviews by skype i remember the time that my first time to come to the gulf countries i had the opportunity and that was my first time to do the, the, the job interview on skype and good enough i passed it and after after it was definitely after one week i was only told that my visa is out so as you are preparing for those interviews these interviews are not there to scare you out these interviews are just there to prepare you emotionally uh, intelligently and confidently is to make you prepared to a place where you are going and which kind of role you're going to take to take up in one way that is why it's normally very important for you to prepare when you go for those interviews try try to go as if you have the job with you dress up properly be smart be presentable be presentable most of at uh, most of these times now uh, uh, they do not do my uh, interviews on skype they definitely uh, have to come to those areas in person so definitely as you're going if they tell you there's a uh, that company representative is coming to conduct interview uh, interview for you for the role please make sure you go to that place when you are well dressed when you are smart and presentable don't put on sunglasses like you you're going to a disco don't pretend as if like 
you don't know what you're going to do. Definitely, they have to fail you out. And someone who will be presentable and very presentable, who will be presentable at that time, will take the role and will take up the opportunity. That's why some people get to miss out the visa opportunity, get to miss out the opportunities. Because small, 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 small things that you can do to improve yourself, but you take them for granted. And that is what normally happens in one way or the other. Then still what is happening, the last document that you need to have right now is we are talking about the COVID-19 certificate. Yes, this is quite very important for people who are coming right now, for people who are coming as domestic workers, for people who are coming security, you definitely know they will require you to have what you call a COVID-19 certificate. The COVID-19 certificate, you must have been, you must have taken the two doses of the COVID vaccine. It doesn't matter how much, which one you take, Moderna, Pfizer, so long as it is the one that is approved by that country where you are going, that Gulf country you are going, you are free head to go because they will definitely ask for you. They will definitely ask for you. When you get to the immigration, when you enter the immigration to most of these countries, there are apps where you have to integrate your COVID certificate into that app because they will definitely track your, your vaccination uh, records and your, vac your vaccination record and your status mostly by using what you call apps. So, meaning that you must be vaccinated in one way or the other. So, it's one also another document that you need to, to have or you need to prepare with yourself before you travel. So, make sure as you are planning to travel, make sure you also take the doses or you take the vaccinations uh, of approved vaccines to to facilitate you or to to give you uh, an opportunity for you to work in this country remember now it's the mandatory to some countries where you need to have what you call the three uh, the doses of the vaccine the two doses then also the booster dose so definitely make sure you have that with you and have the vaccination certificate from your country approved by the health uh, health ministry uh, from your country then definitely you are head good to go hope i've tried to share out something for you for those people that try if you try to ask for me ask for me this question a couple of times i try i try to give you the answer so if you are planning make sure you put those things into order or into consideration such that you can try to move on and move on smoothly. thank you so much for coming back to this channel remember don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for the support. Remember, I remain Mix Mix Creation. Don't forget to like up. Don't forget to check on uh, the, um, my TikTok account, still also at Mix Creation, for the latest updates ever. See you again in the next video.